talking about. Just when I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah. Got it! Holy crap! Some nice looking hole. Real nice. Oh, there's a ton of orange sunfish in here. Oh, just had a bass. Tons of fish right here. I only caught one guys, green sunfish, there is some bass in this hole though, tell you what, this creek is promising looking, there are some nice looking holes in this little thing, greeny sunfish, but when I first cast it out into this hole, there was a bass that followed my lure all the way to the bottom, picked it up and then spit it out, he's in there. Oh, wow.
This hole's giant. This is a gorgeous little creek, guys. Just experimenting, trying a new place. Don't know what it holds, what it has, except it does have green sunfish, largemouth, and orange sunfish, long ear sunfish. It's the only kinds I know that are in here right as of right now. This is one of those creeks you have to just come all day and walk a mile and find those magic holes. The water's high right now, so I really don't know where they're at. I mean, I can tell pretty much where they would normally be, but... Oh, and I got one. Nice one. Got something nice. Feels decent. Ah, it's a greenie again. A little bigger, though. Green sunfish. All right, he's a little bigger. Sometimes these little creeks will surprise you because you can sit here and catch 10 different species in one day. You just never know what's in them. Oh yeah, I got another one. What do I got? Another greenie. Well, I think we see the main species in this part of the stream. That's greenie number four. <laughs> All right, but I have seen some orange ones. She caught an orange one. We haven't got no regular bluegill yet or any other species really that have bitten, but I have seen bass swimming around, just small ones. You think it would? Looks like it would have them. Folks, I'm at spot number two. Me and her have been here several times. The general species are orange sunfish, grum, bowfin, bullheads, red ear, bass, crappie, and gar. That's really the only kind we've caught out of it. Oh, and blue, you know, green sunfish. Um, it's, it's high right now, but I was amazed at how clear it is. Very clear water looks really good oh yeah they're very active right now wow they're all bedding right in front of me we're gonna slaughter them here guys i just know for a fact we always do really good here there are all kinds of them bedding down there where that creek comes in that ditch comes in right there i i just seen a bunch of sunfish take off they're thick in there there's a bunch of fish on their beds tons of them There we go. Not bad at all. Swallowed the hook though. God, can't even see the hook. That's a decent bluegill for a creek. Oh, I got it. I got the hook back. You want to keep it? All right, folks, I got a decent river bluegill anyway, huh? Okay.
orange sunfish. All right. This is actually a dollar sunfish, I believe. No, it's a long ear. Pretty little sunfish. Finally got a new species for the day. All right. Pretty little guy. <laughs> And that explains why there was multiple peckings before I could hook it. <laughs> God, you gotta be kidding me. He swallowed the hook. Yeah, I can get it, but man. Barely. Alright, folks, greeny. Green sunfish. Another tiny one, but I'm going to get a decent fish doing this. Oh. You caught two of them? Huh. Pfft, bugs are flying in my nose. Now that ain't a bad one. Look at that pretty one. Wow. All right, folks, I just got a really pretty sunfish. Real colorful. Beautiful. That's what I like to come for right there. That is an absolute gorgeous sunfish. Look at that blue and orange. He's looking at me. Hey, buddy. Hey, I'm putting you back. Look at that, hun. Pretty one. Hand size. Take those. Oh boy. Record books, record books. All right, guys, a little dollar sunfish. Yeah, we are micro fishing today. Something different. Expect it. Now that ain't bad at all. Unfortunately, I think it swallowed the hook. Yes, it did. It's one of them real pretty sunfish again, guys. Really beautiful. I got the hook back, luckily. Now that's a beauty. Not a bad size. Little long ear there. green sunfish. And a hook swallower, man. I'm gonna go get the damn pliers. Ah, I knew I should have brought them over here when I went back. Forgot again. Oh my God. Warmouth. This is folks, it, oh, I wish I had an aquarium so bad right now. This is the smallest warmouth I've ever caught in my life or ever seen in my life. Like I said, we're micro fishing. I'm telling you if I had an aquarium, he would be the perfect specimen for it. It is a little baby two inch warmouth. Oh my goodness. Sure is. That is a warmouth. <laughs> it's a little baby warmouth. Oh man. Cool. <laughs> How did I even hook that is beyond me. You wouldn't think I'd have been able to hook him. Green sunfish. It's a baby. Little baby.
All right, real bluegill. Getting them quick now. I think that's my first real bluegill of the day. No, I caught one earlier, I forgot. Guess what he did? Swallowed the damn hook where I can't get it even with pliers. Maybe. Yeah, I got it. All right. Bluegill, number two for me. Hand size. folks micro fishing has paid off for the evening i just caught a keeper sized war mouth out of this stump had no idea that's what i was getting a bite bitten off of there wow beautiful river war mouth they i don't catch many of these out of rivers usually out of the lake behind the church but not now that's awesome nice little river war mouth sweet Made the trip worth it right there. I've been wanting to catch a lot of these lately. And I haven't caught, but, well, that this is my fourth one of the year. That's warmouth number four for the year. He's my third biggest one. He's hand-sized. It's not bad for a little stream. Huh. Um, warmouth. See how big their mouth is compared to they got a bigger mouth. That's pretty cool, guys. All right, let's get him back in. There he is again. Come on. Oh, yeah, I got it. Another warm mouth. Whoa. It's a different one. It's not the same fish. That's a big pregnant one. This is a pregnant female. Folks, I just got the uh, the female, the mate to the other warmouth I just caught, back to back. This is the female, obviously, way thicker, girthier. Beautiful warmouth. Wow. I didn't even expect to catch a warmouth today at all. All right, folks, look at that. Look at that there. Two warmouths. We've got a good variety today. Green sunfish, orange sunfish, bluegill. War mouth. I think that's it so far. Four kinds and still nice day. It's awesome when you don't expect to catch something and end up getting two decent ones. Now I know you guys think this is small, but for a war mouth, it's actually pretty decent for a stream anyway. Lake, it's nothing. But all right, we're gonna get him back in or her, I should say. Beautiful war mouth. See, they bite more aggressive. You can tell, they actually pull. And you can tell it's a, she's got something. Uh, you got a greenie. All right, this is a, either a dollar or a long ear. I think it's a long ear. Another sunfish. Pretty orange one, guys. You got one? No. Nope. And a little sunfish. I've caught four fish on the same worm. Four fish on one worm. Regular bluegill. Swallow the hook. <sighs> Come on. Oh, I can get it. All right, folks. Regular bluegill again. Qu ended up catching quite a few fish this evening. Nothing giant, but still a lot of fun, a lot of variety. With the surprise warm mouth, it made it worth it, I guess, just for a little 
short two hour trip and after work and better than not going. bluegill nice river bluegill guys very colorful he went crazy he went completely sideways this bluegill is blue pink orange olive wow that is a nice size bluegill for a river right there I'm telling you wow gorgeous I knew it was a decent one as soon as he started pulling this is a nice little stream, guys. You catch a lot of small fish, but if you tough it out and hang out long enough, you'll get some nice fish. It just, you gotta thin through the little ones. No, I don't have no hooks. They're back there. It's not far. Or mouth again, folks. This is my third war mouth. They all been the same size, they're all about six and a half, almost seven inches. Maybe they're not bad for river. This one's got really red eyes and looks more like a goggle eye. It's a really nice war mouth. Wow, three more war mouths in one day on accident. I don't get that many at the church, purposely trying for them, but they're way bigger there, of course. Four mouth number three. Doing the micro fishing of a small creek after work. I toughed it out and got one more nice warm mouth. <laughs> one of my favorite fish. All right. So there's three of them in there. <laughs> hey, but not a lot. You got a bite. Green. All right, folks, I ended the day with a, whoa, a hybrid bluegill. It's a hybrid. It's a natural. All right, folks, we just added to the species list. I just called a naturally occurring bluegill green sunfish hybrid wow sweet it looks mostly like a green sunfish but as you can tell if it's not too dark the body pattern is a mix between a bluegill and a green sunfish it has the orange fins at the bottom but it's designed it has a smaller mouth almost like that of a bluegill but a little bigger and it's you can just tell by the uh the body that is cool natural hybrid you guys natural hybrid bluegill bluegill greeny really cool added a species to the list it even has the blood red eyes so it could be mixed with a war mouth I don't know yeah, it's got red eyes. That's a hybrid. See how it's about, the sides are different? It's got the orange fins like a green sunfish, but look at the... I've caught them out of Selene and other places. That is awesome. 